G'day Peanuts and welcome to another Ark Survival Evolve video. I am Menace, General of the Peanut Army. <laughs> I guess I should use that a bit more. You guys don't mind being called Peanuts? I don't know, I call myself Peanut all the time. Um, anyway, today we've got uh, Cody inside here. You know, the reason, whole reason I built the base like this was so I could get a mammoth in here. And you know, it sort of works. Like I say sort of. My head's sort of stuck up the top and if I get off, I like... Yeah, I land on the ground. That's okay. Um, but, you know, it works. In the end, it works. Dana Faye, you need to get out of the way. Because you're really blocking my exit here with Cody. So we'll move Dana Faye out of the way. And I'll show you what we're going to get up to today. So off camera, I've actually built that structure over there. You can see it. I'm going to go over there. Actually, might have to grab a few things first. So I wanted a bit more protection around the base. Let's go into the drops here. And we're going to grab a whole heap of these. Um, I think I might take Cody with me. You can be my my scaffolding because I need you to get up on top. Um, yeah, so I wanted some more protection. Now, unfortunately, what I had in mind didn't work because I was hoping that I could put the large crop pots onto a um, onto these slopes just here, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> Um, they go green, but they do not actually allow you to snap them there, which kind of sucks. So, I am going to, first of all, kind of put these in here. I'll show you this little idea that I came up with anyway. So, I built this structure. Put these in here, and these in here. Like this, and then like this. Now, if we can get over here, back onto Cody. You can see on top I've got... A rainwater tank. Can I make it? Oh, almost. Ow. Maybe I can get up there by sprint jump. No, nah, not going to happen, dudes. All right. Um, yeah, so I've got a metal water tank on top. And then diagonal on each side is a pipe and a, um, a tap, which is leaking out water into these crop plots here. And it just so happens, even though there's none on this side, um, these are still irrigated. So I guess the... The range of this one is kind of reaching either these two. I don't know which one is doing it. Possibly this one because it's a lot closer. So let's go down here to the pooper farm. And why are these dead? Oh, they run out of fertilizer. That's okay. I've got plenty of long grass in there. Um, I've fermented up some doo-doo into the fertilizer. So we'll chuck a whole heap of these into the plant species X that I just planted. I had to move these as well. Um, these compost bins, they wouldn't actually go back the way I had them because of the sign. And they were actually destroyed by a raptor, which kind of sucks. So we'll put these back up here. Let's go over to this side. Now, once these are in, I'm hoping that they can sort of see down. We're going to have to test it out. We'll... Um, Fertilized, cool. Well, when they're fully grown, what I'll do is I'll try and find something to bring over and uh, test out to see like the the range or the arc of fire that these plants have. But four of them are going to just pretty much destroy all the things. Why is that's very strange, isn't it? That one like went straight away into a seedling. And these ones are not showing up. That's kind of bizarre. Hmm. Oh, well, hopefully they'll grow eventually. That one there is the only one that turned into a seedling. That's weird. There's no, like, floating plants around. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, well, that's my sort of turret design. It's not what I intended it to be, but I turned it into this regardless. Um, I wonder why I did that. If any of you know why that happened, let me know in the comments below. Um, we're going to go back over here. Today, I'm going to build up some power. We really need power for the base. Remember, we built it at one time, and then the server reset. That was when I had an elevator here. I'm glad it reset because the server, um, we had issues with the server. Like I think it was the host. Um, yeah, it, it um, pretty much reset all of my stuff. I'm going to craft this. I'm going to craft some of this. Uh, I'll probably need some of these as well. Get some of these going. And then I want to make sure I can make a fridge. Yes, I can. Got enough material. So, for now, I just want a fridge. Like, that's all I need. Okay, so that's crafted here. We'll put all these onto our hotbar. 
our hot little bar down here and that can go in there so first things first I want to put you sort of here hmm how am I gonna do this I want the fridge like I kind of want to put the fridge here so maybe I can just run cable all the way along the ground to there it's, um, this from memory is is okay let's get some gamma crack in here because you will be able to see something then now I think that is actually like oh, you can't see through the world here let's see I definitely got it out hmm it's falling through the world let's uh, I, I'm just guessing I hope that's snapping it is it's snapping right there that's cool all right we'll put the fridge down oh it's not gonna fit Oh, that sucks. Hmm, what can I do? I could put it up here. Next to these guys. What's in here? Flint and spark powder. Let's get rid of that. Um, demolish you. Fiber, what's in here? Not much. And demolish you. So we might be able to put the fridge just here. Is this going to work? Should do. And we're going to get like a... A line up there. That's alright. That's fine there. Um, we'll get some fuel, first of all. Uh, we'll take just half of this. Actually, you know what? I think I've got some more on the fire over here. There we go. 25 fuel into the generator. Put you up there. Turn on. Now I've got a working refrigerator. Finally. So let's move all these googie eggs and all this stuff. Let's just take all this from the inventory. Oh, I'm encumbered. Eggs weigh a lot. I forgot about that. Huh. 162 kilos of Dillo eggs. That's some expensive... Uh, well, that's some heavy eggs, actually. Put all this in here. So we'll move all this jerky across. You know, yesterday, when we were, like, taming the, the mammoth, I didn't even realize I had five raptor kibble here. There's a reason you guys call me General Peanut of the Peanut Army. Because I am one. Absolute peanut. Can I move down? No. Oh, yes, I can. Cool. All right, I'm going to transfer all of this over. This is um, this is going to be very handy now. I have to figure out some better way of storing all my stuff. What am I missing out on? I'm miss moving uh, flint and fiber. It's all gone. That's okay. Okay, so I've even chucked like a little lamp down. Moved all that stuff across. I don't know where I'm... I don't really need a thatch storage box anyway. So today, I don't know. I'm thinking we might go down and take Cody... We should take the Dodecurus as well. Hmm. I kind of want to build a test chamber for the Titan of Bow Eggs. We're going to have to see... Do I want to make it out of wood? Or do I want to make it out of stone? That's the question. You know what? I might even make like a whole heap of stuff up here. A round base and take it down there. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that off camera. Then we're going to take Melina down to an area. Oh, I'm going to need to take Cody down there anyway. Let's take Cody down there. And we'll, we'll clear out a spot. I'm just thinking, how am I going to do this? So what I'll do is I'll build some foundations. So we're going to make like a 5x5 five five structure. That's going to be 3 off the ground that we can keep our Titan Boas in. So we can see if we get any googie eggs. Um, I want a Gigantopithecus. I haven't had one since the last server. I haven't tamed one in this series. I really want one now. So I'll craft up some stuff here with my Dota Curious and with Cody here. Then we'll take Cody down as well as probably Melina to clear out some of the area. It's pretty dangerous down that swamp though. Okay, so I've got 20 ceilings, 20 stone pillars, 59 stone walls and one door frame. That should be enough. Uh, I'm going to leave you here. You're going to come with me. I'm going to jump onto Cody. Is that bird too fat to move? No, you're good. Look what just happened. <laughs> the Paris have just got wrecked by my plants. They're so strong. All right, I don't know if I want to jump off here. Should be all right, eh? If I jump off, we're going to poop first. Oh, you know what? Oh, there's water down there. I was thinking maybe I should bring some water. i got food. Let's put down food, like, on the mammoth because uh, it might rot. And I do not want that to happen. I hate also the birds following you on the mammoth is, like, the worst they like get in the way and ugh, it's just horrible. So I think I want to try and build it just down here. 
sort of, uh, you know, not too close to the edge. But still within the swamp biome, because I believe this is still considered the swamp biome. So we're going to... Wee! Fly down here. Yeah, just stop your whinging, buddy. It's okay. Um, I'm going to start knocking down all this stuff. I'm probably going to have to throw this wood out because... Um, oh, Melina's going to get in the way. All right, let's get Melina out of the way. That's not Melina. <laughs> is Melina following me? Yeah, she is. Cool. Come over here. Park your little keister right here, buddy. Down you go. Good. All right. Now, Cody and I got some tree lopping to do. Oh, there's actually a dillo attacking Melina because Melina's not on aggressive. Or she's not on neutral, I should say. There we go. Let's turn, let's turn you on to neutral just because I don't, I don't want you to die. I do not want you to die at all. So let's take out all of these plants around here. I think this little corner will do just fine for our testing facility for the Titan Boa. Um, get rid of this tree as well. That should be a pretty sweet area. All right, let's go down here, grab Molina, put down some of these. Actually, you know what? I'm going to push straight there, um, see if I can carry all this stuff. I think I've got enough weight. Yep, cool. So we'll start off with just the corner over here. And it's going to be let's see about there. We'll make it too high. Then we um, we don't want walls, you peanut. We want ceilings. Let's get these walls out of my inventory and put you in here. We're going to make it 5x5 five five and I don't care about looks. I don't care about any of that crap. And by the way, 5 times 5 is 25, not 20. So, hmm, maybe I'll make it 5 by 4. Let's do that. Um, yep, so put a couple of these down here. Like that. And, wow, it's starting to get hot down here. Actually, let's run over and get some water really quickly. It's probably a good idea. I have actually been putting my points into Fortitude, for those of you who have been suggesting it. Because, um... Yeah, like, like you've said in the comments, and I think I said last episode, putting points in a fortitude will help out, especially in these hot areas and living down in the swamp. Um, so we'll finish these off. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. This is probably not going to work here, is it? No. Nope. So we'll put more pillars down like this. And I'll see you when this is done. Okay, there we go. We've got the base down. Care factor zero on how this looks, guys. Um, I'm not going to make it pretty. I do want to make a ramp or two so that I can get up in here. Um, ramps, hello. There we go. Craft you. What do I need? Some more woody. Some more wood to go there. Uh, then we're going to grab out some of the stuff from the RG. And we'll chuck that up. Then once we've got like this pretty much... Oh, please work. Yay! Um, once we've got this foundation down, we'll chuck some of you in here. that and there we can go and get some tightener boas and then we can uh yeah then we could chuck them in here and see if they will actually stay within the building and hopefully lay some googie eggs for us because if i could put like 30 or 40 in here that would be so good especially since they're sort of like near the base but not right near the near the base if that makes sense <laughs> so they're like in range of still being spawned, but not in range of being aggro, because that's the key to getting the Titan Boas to lay the eggs. They don't lay eggs unless they have um, no aggro. So yeah, that's a pretty important part. Um, so I don't know if you've seen it, but my previous Titan Boa egg farm, it have it was built far away from anywhere that they spawned, because at the time there was no such thing. As um, as a swamp biome. Oops, I actually made another one. That's okay. We'll go down here and grab some more walls. And they would just literally just despawn, which kind of sucked. Um, but now some guys on the forums talking about it. Titan Boas don't despawn here. That's what they say. Um, I don't know until I actually do it myself. So that's what we're doing today. All right, I'm going to finish this off. Then we're going to go start farming some Titan Boas. Okay, so I've just dropped off. Um, 
Cody the Mammoth, and now I'm on Molina again. We're going to go get some Titaner Boas from the other side of the swamp here, because they don't seem to spawn on this side, which is cool. Um, although, I'm afraid that might have an effect. Surely not. Surely not. There's still a swamp biome, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to collect, uh, like, ten or so snakes, so I'll probably record this, but I'll speed it up. Okay, so I have got, let me count these, I didn't actually count them as I was picking them up, but one, actually, I need to go down like this, and then in here, no, that's not going to work, let's get a better angle over here, and get it like, there we go, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight snakies in my little egg pen, so this is the test. We are going to go AFK for a little while, I'm not going to go AFK here, I'm going to go back over to base, Chill out there for a while and see if they actually get out, if they despawn. I think they might despawn after a while, but this might be a pretty efficient way of getting eggs because it didn't take me that long at all to get those eight snakes in the one cage. So I'll see you in about 20, 15 minutes of my time. It'll be a little star wipe away for you, but hopefully when we come back, there might be some eggs here. At least we'll still be able to count the eight of these snakes. Or did I, let me count. Let's double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is eight. Definitely eight. Cool. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay. So I've just been chilling out in my crib with Melina and my frogs, Harry Hopper, and um, I can't even recall the name of the other frog. But anyway, let's have a look. First of all, these guys have grown now. So the other seedlings have popped up, which is good news for everyone involved. We'll now have a full-on death turret here. I think I want to paint this one black and red as well. Um, what do you guys reckon? What color do you want this tower to be? I want to see what you think. Do you want me to do it black and red? Like my usual colors? Do you want it to be green and gold? Like my armor because of the Australian thingy. Anyway, let's go over here and check out. Let's see if these snakes have despawned. Um, I think the real test is going to be like overnight. So a good few hours, even good 12 hours off the game. Tomorrow afternoon around this time, I'll be back on recording our next episode. So the first thing we're going to do is check these out. Look, they haven't despawned. Is there eight there? Let's count. Let's count. Can we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yes. That's good news. Good news, everyone. Okay, let's see. Is there any googie eggs in here? Nope. No eggs that have fallen through. I don't think I saw any when I was up there. Are they aggroing me? The tails are sticking out. Yeah. Let's see if they can get over the wall because that's a little bit of a test as well. I know they can't fit through the door. Hey guys, what's cracking? Woo! 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 Can he get out? Can they crawl over? No, they can like glitch out halfway through the wall. I don't want to get too close and get bitten by these giant snakes with their... What are those things called? 
they're like ruffs or something like that that the people used to wear in like ye olde times. Anyway, look at the, look at the weather. Isn't this bizarre? I hope it's nice and let's go to Gamma Three. Just ugh, that looks horrible. I don't even know what's happening right now. Well, anyway, that's cool. Any eggs in there? No, I don't see no eggs. Do you guys see any eggs? Nah. Let's give it some more time. I'm going to end the episode here. Um, it might be a bit of a short one, but I really want to get this testing done. Like, I really want to concentrate on getting that done. But then, I think what we're going to do after we confirm that the, the snakes will not despawn, we're going to build a... I reckon, man, like, what do you reckon? You reckon it'd be cool if I had a massive pen, like, in that corner with, like, 40 snakes in there? My issue would be, one, the lag. <laughs> it might, like, end up frying the server. It won't fry the server, but it might cause issues for anyone flying past. But, um, then two, like, a big area, maybe we'll lose some snakes here and there. I don't know how it's going to work. Anyway, that's cool. I've got, you know, the first half of this Titan Boa experiment out of the way and things are looking good if you guys have any suggestions as to how to build um a titan bio egg farm um or anything along those lines please let me know in the comments below we want to get those titan bio eggs because i want that gigantopithecus eventually we will have that for around here we've also had unfortunately a reset with the um like respawning range of resources as to structures so like in the server settings get off the bird I think we can go back to normal gamma now. Yeah, we can. So in the settings in the server, you can adjust the range at which resources will respawn from a structure. So if I was to harvest that little rock down there, it actually will not respawn. Um, I think it's more like, see where that rock is there in the middle of our screen, that pile of rubble. I think that's sort of the range we're looking at. But now on default, if I was to actually mine these rocks out here, let's jump off. Yeah, that hurt. If I was actually to mine these here, it probably would not respawn because um, it's too close to the structure. So uh, I think that's been reset. Hopefully that gets changed soon. What's going on here? Oh, I think that's DMAC. DMAC's coming to get his stuff. Good. You owe me some rent, boy. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Menace, and I'll see you guys next time.